one more thing which we need to handle in our API is when we are sending the quiz data by an ID, right? In here, we should have the options as well. First of all, let's see whether we have options in here or not. So let me come over here inside our quiz service and let's run this for now and see whether we have options or not because I think this database is clean. I had just, as I told you, recently installed Postgres. Okay, so we do have that. So our quiz ID is one and it has you know, one question and four options. Let's just do one thing. <clears throat> Add one more question so that you know we have clarity so I'll go over here and quiz ID is one does nest JS have TypeScript support now that's an easy question I'm sure but let's just add it for the sake of having some data okay and options add what was the question ID? The question ID is three. So I'll come over here, add the question ID and let's add yes, which is the correct answer. Send and then a wrong answer, which is no. Okay, let me save these things. And then if I load this, this is quiz by ID. It just gives me the three questions. Whereas in here, the get all quiz, I do have the first question with its four options. One, two, three, four. So let me just collapse that. And then I have the second question. Interesting. It only has yes. I was expecting the no as well. Have I made any mistake? Let me quickly see. Option. Uh oh, okay, it's a validation error. Um, I didn't anticipate that we can have no as well. So why don't we actually change the validation? This is what? When we are sending an option. So inside our entities, which is here, we have options this is string where care okay this is not the one let me go to the DTO create option DTO and in here the length I can expect minimum 2 so the no will work let's try to confirm that I have this and obviously now I have no in here as well, which means in the get all API in question ID three, this is one, this is three, I have yes, which is correct and no, which is false. So we are in business. Now the only thing which I need to do for the application to work properly is have the options in the get by ID API. So let me quickly go to the quiz controller. This is the service which is getting called get quiz by ID. So I'll go into this. And in here we have only one relation which is questions. Why don't we do questions dot options. And if I'm not wrong, now quiz by ID, I have the options as well. So if you Think about it. This is the API which is going to get called when I am going to render the quiz player. This is the API which I am going to call when I am going to show a user how many quiz our current application has. Things like that, right? So yeah, our basic stuff is ready. Now, one thing which I would like to do before we get into you know, the ability to mark questions or responses is to see how we can 
document this APIs. Right now, this is in Postman. This works fine. There's no problem with it. Okay, so uh, it gives me a list of all the APIs which is there. You know, you can see it here as well. I have the definitions for them all in the body. So you know, this works, but I would ideally want something which we can pass it on to the developer and they can very easily use that as a document for the API. And to do that, what we are going to do is use open API, which is previously it was known as Swagger. And that's how we are going to use open API to document our API, uh, you know, APIs and you know, what is the response? What is the request which it is expecting? Things like that. Okay. And you will see how less code we need to write to get a very beautiful API documentation ready in just a matter of seconds. So yeah, that is for today. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.